I'm Harry Thomas, and this is my wife, Kay Thomas. Uh, we will have been married 60 years on the 22nd of December. We're more or less the originator of Thomas Ranch. Uh, my father came out here with his family back in the early 1900s. My grandfather, who was also named Harry Thomas, uh, moved out to get west from New York and they settled in the Doland area. But all of my ancestors, according to the book, were all stockmen, clear back to the time when they actually came here from England. Uh, this land was purchased in the late uh, 1920s and my folks moved here in about 1935. Both Kay and I graduated from Oneida High School. Uh, I attended South Dakota State. We got married while I was going to school down there. And in 1964, I graduated and we moved back here and we've lived here ever since. Kay's family lived close to town here and her father had bought some land west of Oneida out on Okaboja and upon his retirement we purchased that land. It's mostly ranch land and we've got cattle and stuff out there and it's really a beautiful place but you know it's been a good life. We've come here and we brought our little trailer and there was nothing here on this place and it was absolutely <laughs> desolate but you know, it's we built it into a nice ranch and we love it here. We both went to Oneida High School, so we just knew each other for a long time. And then, you know, after he graduated and I graduated in high school, he went to South Dakota State. I went down there and worked while he was finishing college. And then we decided when we come back that, you know, we wanted to start a place of our own. And this place was, <laughs> my dad thought, you know, this was a big job to take this on, but we're happy that it's worked out like it has and that Troy and Bibi live here now. And now my daughter, like I said, lives just five miles west of here too. And so this is nice. We have two children, Troy and Tracy. Troy got married to Bibi and they took a little time. They moved down to Kansas to work for a purebred Charlet operation. And when they moved back here to the ranch, we had already started into the purebred business and this year will be our 50th year of selling bulls. My father had a commercial herd of Hereford cattle and in the early 1970s there were a lot of European breeding cattle imported to this country and so we bred some of those cattle to our commercial Hereford cattle and started upgrading up to a purebred herd of Semental cattle. And that was our start of having bull sales. Uh, we sold Semental cattle and that expanded over into the Charlet breed. And upon uh, Troy and Vivi's return from Kansas, we expanded into a purebred herd of Angus also. And we would put on a bull sale and put a few ads on the radio and have a sale. Uh, nowadays, our bull sales can be seen all over the United States and up in Canada and all over. The bull sales are, are live on the internet. We sell them from Canada, Washington, California, clear down into Texas. He sent some to Georgia and Illinois and Indiana. They go all over. <laughs> Harry was very yeah. instrumental in getting all this technology out to rural country and stuff. He's been on the National Telephone Board and uh, has a lot to do with, you know, all the internet and all the technology that we have now on all of the farms and ranches around here. Kay and I were in San Antonio, Texas, to attending a Simital convention down there. and. At the convention, uh, Terry Bradshaw was at the same deal, and we happened to be riding down in the elevator with him. And he had sitting there, and how are you folks, how are you doing, and where are you from? And Kay, pretty proud, says, well, we're from South Dakota. 
And <laughs> Terry Bradshaw looked her right in the eye and he said, why? <laughs> I said, come uh, see us and you'll find out yeah. why. <laughs> well, one of the, the year we were <clears throat> inducted uh, into the uh, Stockman of the Year out in, Black, in the Black Hills Stock Show, it was the year after Taylor, Troy's daughter, had been killed in a car wreck. And I related this story to people and I said, the day of her funeral, there was probably 1,500 people came. And I said, that's why we're from South Dakota, because... Of the support that we <laughs> You just, you don't have that connection in other places and it was a great deal. We've been very, very fortunate and blessed in the things that we've been able to do and just can't, we yeah. can't be thankful yeah. enough. When you think back over the years, which you, you know, you don't stop and do that until something like this comes up and to think of, we moved our little trailer house over here, you know. My dad could not believe that we were doing this, but anyway, it's worked out good. We love it here.